Hey, have you ever thought about when a new service is launched, who are actually the ones to use it the first time? And the thing is, when there is a new service, that service normally is also rather bad. Everything is bad in the beginning, so it's nothing strange with that. But still, some people take it on. And who are they actually? Well, here is a story which is like 20 years old. When 3G mobile telephony arrived on the globe, you know, 3G. It was the first time ever you could make a video screen talk with your mobile. Who were the early ones? Well, there was a small business segment that really took it on without any marketing towards them. It was the deaf people. You know, the first time ever you could make a physical conversation with a person that you speak to via your hands. Rather obvious, isn't it, when we think of it? Here's another example, drones. What kind of people were the first one to take it on? You know, making movies like this one. Well, one business segment is when you watch a criminal movie over a big city, Manhattan, Stockholm, Shanghai, wherever, and they zoom out. Historically, that was made with the help of a cameraman and a helicopter. And that was heavily expensive. Nowadays, it's a drone who does it. They took it on fairly rapidly. There is a pattern here, right? The pattern is the early adopters take on a bad solution simply because they, in specific, have use of it, even though it might not be that good in the beginning. And these ones are normally found in the corner of the business. It's rarely the kind of people we talk about historically. And they have a tendency of taking it on even without us doing marketing towards them. Hmm. So I wonder next time when you're gonna launch a bad technical solution. Who's going to be your early adopters? Thinking about in this way, maybe you actually can figure that out. Cool, isn't it?